The situation within the European countries, the 27 countries, as I see it from the discussions I have with the Chief of Defence, which I represent here, is that it, the situation is very diverse. Some nations do make cooperation, bilateral, multilateral cooperation, regionally, generally. Others, and they do this because they are reducing their budget, generally, uh, or because they have history of relationship. And other nations are reducing severely, hampering some capabilities, unfortunately, but they make that choice. And this is where we can play a role. This is where, in the future, all we can do in order to share the defense planning to the greatest extent as possible will allow at least an awareness and so to prevent those capabilities to be stopped without knowing. And interesting also is the fact that some nations are increasing their defense budget. They are? Okay. Yes, they are. Poland, for example, yes. is one of the countries yeah. that is increasing its defense budget, but there are others. And so we are in a very diverse situation. When it comes to uh, deploying, everybody speaks about deploying uh, assets to areas of operations. First and foremost, armed forces as they are here to defend uh, the nation, defend the population. So the bulk of what they do is to prepare in case of a non-expected event. And surprises do occur. If I just look at what happened in the recent months, never did France plan to project more than 4,000 troops in Mali. So you need to have those assets ready when you plan to do something. There is an ambitious solidarity among European countries. They are willing, some of them, to progress in that one area, air transport, others in maritime domain, and some in all the domain. We have had in the military committee very recently Admiral Benelux, who came to explain how they worked, how long it took to make all of that progress between the Netherlands and Belgium on the Navy part. But they have plans now to at least look at if the option is possible within the Air Force and the Army. So all the progress that can be made in those would allow in the future a decrease in spending because all of those clusters allow when we operate and this is important, it's not only acquisition, it's when we operate to reduce the, the burden, both the uh, logistic burden, but also the operation uh, burden on the forces. There's no other way, so I'm optimistic. You're yes. Op okay, very good. Thank you, General.